Copilot 365 in Outlook is nice. First, on any given email, you can always click the summary by Copilot. Here, Copilot drafts a summary about the conversation. This is nice, especially if the conversation is long and or you came in late. What's even nicer is using it on your phone because here we have a small screen. Reading long emails is often hard. From here, I can click the Ask Copilot. Here I can chat with the email. That is, find information and doing a lot of other things. I could choose to use one of the predefined conversation status up here or simply just prompt myself. I could say, what does the email say about LinkedIn here? Now I'm chatting with the email. Just in natural words, I can get information from that email. Copilot 365 here in Outlook works. The email mentions that it makes sense to use the LinkedIn page directly as the webinar destination. I could fact check it, but here you can see we have the LinkedIn company page. You can, by the way, click that if you want to follow our company. Then we have mentioned it a few other times. We have that discussion in this email. So here Copilot was correct. Of course, I would say. Let's close down the sidebar here and let's also close the summary by Copilot. We could choose to open the sidebar directly. What I then do is just to go up in the right corner, click chat. Now I am in the same place. Each time I do a new conversation, I prefer to reset this. I could go to chat history and say new chat. Everything is reset. So here we could do a lot of things. I could say find time to meet up with. And if I do a forward slash, I tag some of my colleagues. Let's tag Steen here. And I can also have an agenda. Agenda should rent a bigger office. We do like this and I hit enter. And then Copilot 365 will schedule a meeting. Here we see that if I want this should rent a bigger office, it finds a time where we're both available here it's in eight minutes and it attaches a link to Teams. I can choose to send it here or I can click edit. Then you will see that it found a time. It automatically did the title and here I can choose to add an agenda if I want that. Then I can also close this. Right now, um, we are using it more generally. Of course, I could chat with the email still. I can do a lot of other things. I can also let's just stay in this. I could say something like summarize the meetings I have for the next week or something like that. Currently, it's summer vacation, so I don't have a yeah, I could also in natural English words say find emails from now it's one of my colleagues again, it doesn't have to be it could be external from Yen send in the summer of 2024. Then again, I could also have added a topic. Now it finds the email from my colleague. And this is nice, you will see that we will have a list. This is much like we did in the Copilot 365 chat part where we could prompt our own data. Here we have a few ones uh, where we work together. We also have the sources. So let's say that on August the 27th, Nian discussed the language settings for PCs. And if I click that here, you will see that this will be a link to an email. This is the old email from the summer of 2024. Extremely nice that it just opens here. Let's close it again. Then I can also set my out of office. I can say set my out of office from next week's Monday to Thursday. I'm actually going on vacation. So this is nice. Then this is always extremely confusing to find. 
But here we have it. We can see that this is the 7th of July and it is the Monday to the 10th. So here Copilot again hits a bullseye. This will be the automatic reply. I can change it and click save when I want. That one of the nicer ways of using Copilot 365 in Outlook is to have Copilot replying to your emails. So I click the reply and then I see a Copilot icon. I can either click Alt I or click the Copilot icon. Here I get a few suggested prompts if I want those. Usually I want to tell Copilot 365 what that should be in my reply. I could say create an answer that appreciates Steen's effort humorously and say yes to the graphic layout. I can click enter or simply just click this arrow then Copilot 365 generates an answer. This is nice because it uses the email as context. So this is better than just having to draft it in for example the chat Hi, Steen. Thanks for sending you over the calendar invite. It looks good. Um, and then we will have the answer. Yeah. Then I want to change it. For example, I can also I can always click retry. Then that will just be a new prediction. So it will use the same parameters, but it will write it in a slightly other way. So now we will see that it writes our email. Here it is. We have another version. And you can also see the joke here. By the way, I really appreciate all the effort you're putting into this. It feels like we're assembling an Avengers like team ready to conquer Lincoln, blah, blah, blah. So I can have this retry. I can also see that I can toggle through these two versions. I can also, with my words, adjust it. So here I think it might be a little bit too long or something like that. I can say make it concise and without filler words or something like that. Then we will see that we get a slightly shorter message. Here we have it. I could also choose to if I want to remove these M dash up here or actually we can also see that it creates another signature. But here I can say remove the M dash and remove the signature. I could do it manually, but here I could work with it. There you go. The M dash is gone and the signature is also gone. So again, I have four options to uh, toggle between. I think I prefer this. If I was not happy or just want to write it manually, I could have clicked this card. I also see that I have a few ones to say, make it shorter, make it longer, or make it more direct or like a poem. I rarely use these. I like to do it with my own words. What I do is to click keep it, then we have the email. So really, really fast to draft replies. Sometimes I just add a few things to the email if I want that. But instead of having to look in the blank screen, then this is an extremely nice way of going, for example, from zero to 80, and then I can manually do it from 80 to 100. If I'm done with this, I can send it here. I will just discard it. Copilot 365 also works well with new emails. So if I go up and say new, I also have the draft with Copilot. Click it and again in natural words, you can describe what you want. Let's say I want to invite every employee to the summer party on August 29, 2025. Encourage everyone to suggest activities. Use a friendly and humoristic tone like that. And I can click generate. 
we will have an email. Like before, we can change it again. Here you see we have the same one going down here, or it's just discarded and write it manually if we for some reason want that. It works best, I think, when we reply emails, because then we have the context to base the answers on. Let me also discard it here. In any email conversation, you can click the schedule with Copilot. Now Copilot 365 schedule a meeting. This is nice because here you can see it should just a title. It finds a time where all parties are available. It attaches the original email as attachment. It creates an agenda and it summarizes the conversation so far. If I'm happy with that, I can click insert. And here I can also add a bullet if I wanted that. Then I'm just ready to send it. Let's close it down again like this. Finally, you can customize how Copilot 365 responds. You can do that in two ways. I can go up to the cogwheel here and click Copilot. Here we have the two Copilot controls. Or I can go to the drop down and hit settings. You will end the same place. Here I can turn on Copilot on and off. Just go with on because it's so nice. I also have custom instructions. If I enable this, I can tell Copilot 365 how I want to respond. For example, like here, always reply in one sentence. Or I can say start with a professional greeting. And let me just fix this right in a friendly, easy to understand tone and avoid filler words. And with a joke, do like this. And when I click save here, Copilot 365 always responds when we use it with these instructions in mind. So if you do instructions, remember them because they will be on forever. So you might have forgotten all about them. Go in there and change it to your tone. How do you want to respond on emails? Your next Copilot 365 video is here. See you.